I'm back with another vacuum video for you guys. Um, here I'm doing a comparison video between the Shark Rotator Powered Lift Away and the Rotator Powered Lift Away Speed. Now, sorry about that, about that camera shaking there for a little bit. I was getting down on my knees to get a better camera angle. <clears throat> so you might have seen both of these on the market, or maybe you know heard about these. You know, maybe you looked them up at Sears or or some other store. And you might notice they kind of look kind of the same, so you're kind of wondering what's really the difference, you know. Um, should I get the full size power lift away or should I get the speed model? Well, that's hopefully this this video will help you out. Um, I'm not really going to go detail about similarities because, you know, they're almost identical to each other. A lot of features are very much similar. The lift away features are similar. They both have sealed head filtration. Power heads are very are almost identical, save for cosmetic differences. Um, so, in a lot of ways, they're very almost pretty much twins in a sort of way. But there are some differences that distinguish the two. First, it's the price. This model is three hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So. It's their most expensive upright, but it's technically cheaper than, say, most Dysons. And then the uh, powered lift away speed or rotator powered lift away speed is $299.99. So it's a little bit cheaper. It's because it's a little bit smaller, it's lighter in weight. This is around, I think, 13.2 pounds. This is around 15. Let me check. Before I, you know. Start listing its weight. Yeah, this one is 13.2. This one is 15.6 pounds. So, this one's just a little bit lighter than this one. Not by much. Maybe about 2.4 pounds difference. So, that's kind of one difference. Another difference is um, this has a suction control on here. Um, you can see here, so if you're cleaning your uh, full carpet cleaning or, you know, bare floors and attachments, you would set it to, to max. For thick carpet and area rugs, you would switch that to the minimum. That allows some air through, through so that way it doesn't, you know, it's not so hard to push on thick carpets. Also, in area rugs, it doesn't get jammed up. Um, but again, you can adjust it to, you know, precision so that way uh, you can get enough suction power for whatever you're cleaning. Draperies, thick carpets, air rugs, stuff like that. You can also see this one doesn't have a second control. Instead, this has, it's brush roll, it's, yeah, brush roll control is a little bit different. You can also see that there's a power button right here so I can turn on and off the vacuum um, yeah I was trying to see if I get the light turn on for the motor but anyway um, you can see here you got your power switch right here you also got your brush hole controls you got carpet turbo and oops, sorry carpet turbo hard floors carpet is usually used for um, Again, like, pretty simple. Of course, um, any kind of carpet, you can set it to that. It's also great for use on thicker carpet or um, area rugs or, you know, deeper pile carpet. You set it to carpet. Turbo is best for low pile carpet. So you can switch it to turbo and it'll adjust accordingly. Then hard floor turns the brush roll off. Here, you only have two settings here, hard floors and carpet. Your power button is right here. And instead of having a turbo setting, you know, there's two settings for brush roll, you got that suction control, as I just mentioned. Um, there's, and there's a little, each has a kind of a special feature that kind of sets it apart from the other. Of course, both have um, hard floor attachments, I'll explain that in a little bit, but the full size power lift away has a canister caddy. 
Let me show you how that works. I'll press the lift away button. I'm going to... Oh, hold on. Okay, drop whatever. Don't care. I'm just putting it, the canister on its caddy. If I can keep the wand from dropping. What I do is going to sit here and you'll hear a click. Okay, so what I just did was, as I was explaining, I took off the canister, lifted the canister part, the lift away canister from the wand of the vacuum while keeping the motor in place, uh, the power head in place, and I put the unit on its caddy. Um, so that way, it's a canister vacuum, and I'll show you that the brush wall is still powered. You couldn't do that with this one. I'll try to do a video on the rotator, uh, comparison video between this one and this one, because this is kind of similar. This is, in fact, its direct predecessor. Um, but you can see there, that's its special feature. It's able to convert from an upright to a lift away to a portable unit to even a canister unit. And so, pretty nice. Now, the speed model doesn't have that, but it has its own special little feature. Now, even though both have hard floor attachments, like the, this lift away model, uh, the full size one has what they called a hard floor genie. It's just another fancy name for a dust away. You know, uses, you know, uses this, I guess, replacement pads. You know, I guess after the pads get too dirty. You know, if they wear out, replace them. You know, I wouldn't say... They tell you they should replace the pads every three to four months. I don't think that's the case. I think, you know, you can use them. I think when they start to wear out, if they look worn out, then replace them. But anyway, that's hard floor genie. Thing is, you can only use it in the lift away and canister modes. This is... The powered lift aways dust away pro. This is the well, yeah, it's called the dust away pro. This looks a lot fancier than this because this one has a headlight. This actually has wheels. This actually looks like it stands upright. I'll show you why that's the case. Let me take this off. Now, while I can switch it to a lift away mode and I can show you really quickly that it will run that the power head just like the, its uh, bigger cousin or bigger brother can run while the canister is detached but it can also do this I'm going to take the, the dust away pro attachment I'm going to switch it over. Switch it over to this one with one hand. You can hear that click. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to make sure that clicks. I now have a hard floor upright. The Dust Away Pro can attach not only to it to to the vacuum as a in the canister feature and the lift wave uh, feature, but it can also connect the dust wave pro to its wand and put the bait the canister unit back on and convert it back into an upright. And as you can see, it has a headlight, so you can go dust your you know vacuum your bare floors and you can dust your bare floors and you can see what's you know what's picking up. And so that's a nice little feature. And then you can easily interchange, you know, you can easily interchange between the power head and the Dust Away Pro head. Um, of course, the, the power head can be used on bare floors just by turning off the brush hole, but if you wanted to dust your bare floors, you know, as well, 
that's one way to do it. They both come with a long warranty. I think this one's seven years. Let me see what this one has. Seven years. Okay, they're both seven years. So they both come with a seven year warranty. Most vacuums come with one year. Most. Some come with two. If you're lucky, three. Some come with five years, like Dyson's and most sharks. These come with seven years. So I'm guessing the shark must be really confident in the durability of their vacuums, which, you know, I guess you would be too if you, you know, if your vacuum has a seven year warranty. Or even five years, that matter. Five years is pretty good. Seven years is amazing. So that's the video. I'll do more videos in the future. I think next time I'll do a comparison between the rotator professional lift away and the rotator powered lift away. Um, not sure why they call them professional because there's nothing professional about them. It's not like the commercial green units. But anyway, um, I'll do a video between the powered lift away and its uh, predecessor next time. I'm going to cut this video off before I run out of space. But feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, tell me if this helped you in any way. Um, feel free to check out Sears. They have a bunch of vacuums available for you. I'll probably be doing a whole lot more videos here since there's a lot of vacuums. Anyway, this is Ryan Selman signing off.